this Slytherin um, stream. Uh, I today I'm Richard, and uh, here we are. We're going to uh, I can't speak tonight. We're going to show a preview of Rise of Persia. Hopefully, you guys can hear me because sometimes I, I need to hear my own pretty voice. So, like I said, guys, welcome to the stream. And tonight we are going epic. Tonight we're going epic. I'm going to give you guys a sneak preview at the uh, a epic battle. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to give you a sneak pre at an epic battle tonight. I've been look I've been sat here for the last ten minutes looking what I can show you, gents and ladies. Let's uh, make. I'm going to give you a sneak pre. I can't hear my beautiful voice on the stream, so I'll carry on talking. Hello, everybody. Lansda, uh, Vidsta, Dogman, and other people who are there. So, yes, yeah, tonight we're going to look at an epic battle. Hopefully, for the next two hours, we're going to see bloodshed, massacre, hopefully against the enemy. Not me, as last time it was. And let's see if we can be victorious on the sands. Oh, Persia. And let's further ado. We're going to click the launch button. We're going to see what see what shenanigans we can do. Remember, guys, say hello if you're on the stream. Don't forget to check the Sliver site out. Um, the game is coming out the 27th of September. I've been hounding this game just so much the last few weeks. Just been loving every second of it. And if you like Field of Glory, Field of Glory guys, it is the way to go. Huzzah! Let's get this for into action tonight. I've been looking for what to show, and like I said, I've been sat here for a while thinking, oh, what should I show everybody? So we're going to um, play the Battle of Meg Adia. Oh, do you? I can't pronounce it right. I apologise for any bad pronunciations. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Um, I'm just trying to do a bit of research. As well. So this is a battle between the Judean and the Egyptians. Uh, after the fall of Nineveh and the death of, uh, the death of King Sinshar, um, the Syrians regrouped under a new king, Ashar Bubul II, based around the city of Hurin. The eye of the pharaoh, Nigad II of Egypt, marched towards a large army of the, to assist the Syrians. The Egyptians took them through the territory of the kingdom of Judea. The Judean king, Joseph, was the opponent of the Assyrian, rejected and his request safe passage as Egyptian army was marching past the city of Megdia. Uh, I think that town was a big trading uh, town. Um, I, I, I've read something about that. The Junior army ap uh, appeared to be, uh, to be in battle array, determined to halt the Egyptian advances. So the Egyptians won this battle. The aftermath king was mortally wounded in battle and was taken back to Jerusalem to die. They continued north to aid the Syrians, but the campaign was the end defeat of the hands of the Babylonians. Hello everybody, Fluff Benef and Van Bishop, how is everybody tonight? So, we're going to crack on. Uh, as the Egyptians won, we are going to play the Judean people. And we're hopefully going to win ourselves. I'm hoping we're going to win. So we're going to click uh, go here. So this might be a bit of a longer battle, uh, as normal, because it is an epic battle, guys. So, of course, it's epic and should contain a lot more units. And then we're going to hopefully play, hopefully get time to play one... Um, uh, custom battle or random battle? I'm not too sure yet. We'll see how long we got left and see what we can play into. Hello, Grey Knight. How are you this evening? So here we are. It is a normal um, comp stomp. Uh, as I mean, got around the enemy here. The Egyptians are marching past Megaldea when they're being surprised by the Judean army. Advancing from hills behind the town, the Egyptian army is mainly infantry force supporting the noble charioteer. And they also have a strong continuum of mercenary hoplites. Holy crowlies. I love the hoplites. The Judean army has a strong force of heavy chariots backed by light speared infantry. I'm feeling confident here. We've got hoplites. He says we got. Oh, ho, ho, sweet. Sweet baby Jesus. Ha! 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 Oh, this is going to be interesting. So, they are marching in column, um, as you can see from here. But look at that. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Mercenary hoplites. Look at them bad boys. Ha! Do we have any rough ground between him and us? No, we don't. Uh, heavy chariots all the way down. Numidian archers, Egyptian spearmen. Oh, that's going to be a fun force to deal with. I reckon we've got them. I reckon we've got that, but we haven't got a massive army here. So let's have a look what we've got here. We've got Assyrian-style uh, chariots. We've got uh, one free three points. Uh, early cavalry. Uh, Gibbon, our more elite troop. Uh, Hebrew foot, the more basic troop of the Judean people. Um, I like the chariots. I really do like the chariots, but the question is, that's 64 points. That's quite expensive when I could probably have... Uh, I think we're going to have one unit of uh, elites and we're going to finish with a chariot. Um, that's it. I, I don't forget, as we don't forget to deploy, um, 
we don't get to deploy on a epic battle. So let's look at our battle line from left to right. Um, early cavalry, uh, Hebrew chariots. Um, wow, they are beasts. Good strength as well. Good strong, I mean, good 500 there. Um, followed by lots of Hebrew foot. Got quite a strong centre with the uh, Gibberon, Gibberin uh, forces with a general in the centre. Um, Hebrew foot and the chariots and the chariots. So quite a symmetrical force here. Then uh, Hebrew light archers. Uh, and slingers in the front uh, to hopefully pepper them down. The question is there, these hoplites are going to be the issue, um, uh, as <laughs> hoplites are always the issue uh, in this game, because they are tough cookies. Uh, I need to flank these. Uh, unfortunately, there is no rough ground in between us. There's these woods here that are impassable for the chariots, uh, so going trying to flank round is probably going to be a bad issue. Um, they have one thin line, so the best thing I could do is either make them d very disoriented with my light troops. The problem is as well, they do have Egyptian archers. Lots of Egyptian archers. The right side of their armor, the rear army, uh, is a lot weaker than the front. Uh, that's the strong point at the front with them mercenary hoplites. I mean, I suppose I could advance forward and see what happens there. So I think we're just going to... We've got enough troops to outshoot these light troops in the centre. So, I mean, I'm not particularly too worried about that. We are going to uh, rush forward. Um, we've got plenty of range here. So let's fire away at the uh, lights. I mean, I'm going to have to push on. I mean, if I get lucky with one of these... Uh, so here we have the town. Actually, you know what? I don't think I've ever seen a town with a name on it before. Smash through the centre. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll try. We'll try. If you know my track record, if you've seen this stream before, you know the shenanigans that go off. We're going to pull the chariots to the left a little bit and the early cavalry. And that's my turn one done. Let the gods decide if I'm worthy of a victory today. And the Egyptians turning to face. Turning to face here. They have one thin battle line. So I've got to use that to my advantage. Uh, either to split the army into all them chariots that are coming right at me. Oh, the charge the lights. They didn't, they didn't hang around then. Uh, what are them guys? Egyptian light infantry, uh, light javelin men. Yeah. So, the Egyptians not messing around, turning to face. Uh, but we want to kill them, and I don't... I'm going to actually charge here. Oh. <laughs> and that cavalry unit actually beat two units. Alright, we're going to shoot these. Uh... I'm very afraid of these chariots. Uh... Uh, let's turn and just pepper these light troops. I'm going to turn things... Oh, well, let's just... Thank God for the undo button. Silly me, that was at half range for some reason. I'm just going to shoot away here. Sad to say, two units disrupted in turn, like, two. Uh, we will advance the rest of these Hebrew foot. Remember, guys, they have numbers on their side, I think. Uh, so I'm not too fussed about having one big thin line. Um, these hop, these chariots are going to do absolutely nothing against these uh, hoplite troops. I think I'm staying still, and that's turn. Don't forget, don't be shy, everybody. Please say hello. Thanks, Speedy CM. I'll take that into consideration. <laughs> I'll try that. I'll, uh, we'll bit a bit of chariot on chariot action. Uh, the hoplites are getting danger close already. They are literally, they are coming down. They're coming down now. There's a general on that chariot as well, so that unit is a bit thick. We we, we can't see some of these units on the right. I might pull these chariots into the center because they will absolutely smash these archers. I think you're right, uh, Speedy CM. I'm going to pull the chariots to the right, uh, to the left, and. I'm going to try and hit them on, uh, both on. Here we go there. Uh, Egyptian cavalry pulling up there. The best situation I can get is to get this early cavalry to uh, 
get this early cavalry to um, pull some of these uh, hoplites to the left. All right, well, I'm going to have to shoot this guy up in the face because he's starting to really annoy me. The problem is as well, these... Uh, <laughs> What with the charge? Oh, not a fantastic charge on there either. Well, we're going to just advance up here a little bit. We'll get danger close. Danger close. What's it? Oh, I would actually like that hit. Oh. I would like you to disrupt, please. Alright, disrupt it. And we are going to charge. They're going to flee, but I'm going to move up anyway, so... We do actually have some rough ground here. Like, how many spots? One, oh, one pot of uh, rough ground, which I don't think is good enough. All right, we're going to try and rush these chariots to the left now. I love these epic battles, uh, but unfortunately, you just get so many units. Uh, the problem is, moving this Hebrew cavalry anywhere near that line is just not going to help me at all. The fact is, these Egyptian archers will shoot me down, and with such a low strength value, uh, I don't think I, don't, I want to waste them. And apparently the range of the chariots isn't great. Uh, charge here isn't good. Uh, but we're going to just turn to face. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, and we will we'll push to, the, to clear some of these lights up. Hello, Paul Winter. How are you this glorious evening? And hmm, oh, I think if I get anywhere close to that chariot, he's gonna he's gonna absolutely. Oh, I can't undo. No, no, it revealed enemy. That's why I can't do anything. All right, we're gonna slow the slingers at the. Uh, I'm going to slowly pepper the hoplites. We need to weaken these guys. That unit there is going to cause me issues. I can keep that cavalry there. So I think that's a fair turn for me there. Um, but we'll certainly see if that makes a difference. These Egyptians, this young pharaoh is not messing around. Like I said, there is slight rough ground here. I actually miss, miss that completely. Uh, the Egyptian spearmen don't have great offensive uh, bonuses. They are defensive spearmen. So I'm not expecting them to start running all the way at me here. And I've got to expect... There we go. Uh, they, do have the ch they do charge there with the early cavalry. And their chariots are now fully up there. The offensive shots of them uh, cav uh, chariots aren't great as well. Oh, oh, fantastic, sorry. We're going to have such a big mash in this centre. Alright, I can sense a charge here. Oh, yes we can. Oh, I, I, I should have shot him first. All right, let's go and pick off this chariot. Let's break some of his units, please. Thank you. And let's fill this spot with uh, uh, Hebrew infantry. Uh, eventually, we'll die horribly. I've got no doubt about that. And firing again the hoplites. 
Uh, I need something to annoy them Hopolites, and that's going to be it. I think we are going to go all the way up here. Oh, this is so aggressive. This is so aggressive. I need to hit that flank of that um, chariot. All right, everybody got one space. I'll keep the right flank just a slightly back. Slightly back this, this flank here. Uh, this centre is the smashing force. Um, oh, we can shoot with our chariots, can't we? Um... Uh, at nobody, apparently. Well, they can shoot them uh, fleeing troops. We'll go move up here, see who we can pick a shot at. And it'll be just at the massed archers in the rear. Cavalry on the right staying. That's turn. And the cavalry actually win there, pushing back the early cavalry. And the Hopolites decide to charge the Hebrew foot on the uh, extreme left. Oh, it's going to be a big rumble in that centre. And the Mast Archers shooting away. We've, we can't weather them shots all day long. Them, I've really, Like I probably said in every stream and every video I play of Rise of Persia, um, the um, Archers play such a pivotal role in this era. Uh, literally every unit has some sort, most or nearly every unit has some sort of offensive power, uh, which is ranged. And it can be decimating on disrupting troops and even breaking them. Uh, their right flank at the moment is not doing anything. There's lots, and they're regular. Uh, so these guys on this hill are kind of not doing very much. Oh, and we've got an evade there. Uh, the early cavalry now in my back of my flank. Ha! And their chariot taking a disruption. Oh, we're feeling lucky tonight, guys. Okay. I can't charge them because they're blocked. The zone of control is blocked. Um, and that's my own unit. Uh, oh, okay, let's think about what we're going to do here. We're going to turn first of all turn to shoot uh, this cavalry unit. We are going not to ch we're not charging them because the combat is horrendous. Yes, it's going to be chaotic in that centre. Uh, it's going to be who's breaking first. Let's shoot. Ah, uh, well, I want to shoot these lights, but at the same time, they are absolutely blocking me. They're going to block me up so much. <laughs> oh, we've messed up on this left flank. We really haven't been the right flank. We're so messed up on it. Oh, we're going to have to turn and shoot. Oh, we've messed up there. We, we, they got they got here too quickly. Oh, we're going to have to flee back with these archers. There's no way uh, we're going to be able to shoot, uh, do what we want to do with them in the way. Oh, we're going to have to go for the charges. Charge is very poor there. Well, we're going to go again here. Seventy percent. <laughs> what was actually different from that unit? There was. A I think just very bad rolls. And we did wrong there. Well, we're going to go here. Come on, break. Drop them one. Oh, the hold firm. Well, they can't flee, can they? This is the only issue at the moment. We are going to get... I'm going to have to pull these lights, some of these lights out of the way, or we're going to start... They're going to get pushed over and then killed. Well, we can actually waste some shots at these. All right, we're going to move the elites. The elites of the elites. Oh, you're just so in the way. I want to shoot, but at the same time, I want to. Sh I want to pull them back. Oh, oh, mighty. That is such a bad charge. I'm just going to turn around and shoot them. Hoping for a disruption. It's too much to ask. Uh, we are just going to slightly turn to the right here. And give these Egyptian... Give these Egyptian... Uh, spearmen something to think about. 
Right, we're going to be annoying. We are going to be annoying. We're going to push the light straight back into their units. We're going to push straight back. And we are just going to invade their space. That's it. If we've got this little gap, we're going to push through it. I know it's going to mess with one of the turn of our shooting, but I, I, I'm happy with that. This guy is just going to move right in his face. And these guys are going to funnel up here. I expect to loss on the on the chariots here. Uh, these guys, oh, I don't think I've got enough points to turn around. No, I'm just going to turn around. I'm just going to turn around here to the right. Mm, unfortunately, I didn't support that unit, and now I'm paying the price for that. Okay, guys, that will... Oh, no, we got a shot here. Like I said, that was... What was that? 74 damage. So when you're playing chariots, gents, remember, <laughs> they are just absolutely brutal. I'm going to get some horrendously bad charges at me now, so I'm going to brace for the impact. Oh, feel the charges on the left and the right. Got my eyes closed. As the Judean line and the Egyptian line hit the centre, it is just manic. I'm feeling quite confident on the centre. Uh, it's just if I can over envelop that, or oh, that chariot is in some trouble on that left side. Oh, it, 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 it's indecisive. An indecisive battle, though. Yes, he is, Pharaoh. <laughs> the York's Pharaoh dented <laughs> I don't think it's going to last very long. No, I'm playing the, the Judean people today. I'm trying to be Pharaoh. I want to be Pharaoh. Please show off your emojis on here, please. I've not seen the new uh, Twitch stream stuff. So if you've got any new cool um, face things, please show them. And welcome to the stream, everybody, who's sitting there quietly. I'm actually very happy with this turn. I've not lost horrendously yet. We're 2% in the victory. I'm feeling the positive vibes. Thank you, Pixel. Thank you, gents. I love the bomber. Is that a bomber or a cacti? <laughs> How is that chariot still standing? All right, we're going to break this chariot. We're going to break this chariot. All right, I'm going to do it through combat. And he's going to vanish. And he's going to vanish. Back to Egypt with you, son. And he's fragmented. Yes, yeah, a cactus. Oh, 3%. Can you believe that? All right, first of all, we're going to shoot this infantry up. Uh, I think I'm not, I'm not too sure uh, Uber is the way it's the, I think I'm streaming it probably on a lower um, resolution I'm not too sure uh, when I see the video uploaded to this uh, Sliverin site it seems a lot better than I can see it yeah it looks like a looks like a cactus to me but I know there is a cactus one <laughs> but it looks like a cactus all right we're gonna shoot this cavalry up hopefully get a disruption fortunately we do not and the cavalry is in there oh <laughs> My early cavalry. No, don't have to be sorry for asking. Uh, don't forget to pop um, the to the official Sliverin whisper. They'll probably help you more than I can. Sad to say, the early cavalry on the left has taken a bit of a beat in there. Well, I mean, that's a really bad charge. I'm going to see what other successful charges I can get here before I start doing any more of the charges. I'll up the resolution next time. I think. Oh, we should have not put that there. Oh, we're going to be. Oh, we're going to charge onwards to the, to the, uh, mast inf archers. All right, I think we need to charge this. Oh, that's one percent. That is like bad, bad juju. That is all right. These are lights now. We're going to just pepper everybody as much as possible. Oh, 
one percent. Well, we're going to turn around and shoot you. And I think we're probably going to charge you with the Hebrew like uh, foot there. Uh, going to turn them to that side. We are going to help out here. Where can you guys cause some havoc? We'll move to the right there. Who can I move? Oh, the chariot is like, yeah. Mm, that's actually not bad. I'm going to go for that. Thanks, Pixel. Uh, like I said, not being a casual streamer apart from on here. Um... I've not tweaked the settings as probably as best as I could. 4%. No percent. Well, there goes that charge. I'm just going to have to shoot them. And... Oh, this is not going to go well for this chariot. It's a fall back. Good, good, good. Oh, it's going to fill it with that spot. Uh, they don't want to do anything. I'm going to turn to the left here, so when there's a pushback through here, hopefully we can move over. Sad to say I can't support this chariot. But, is it going to hold firm? And it holds firm. And we are going to come... We're, we're going to try this charge. Just to help support them a little bit here, because I'm expecting that Hebrew foot to lose a little bit. And these guys are going to start taking some damage. We will turn this unit to the left next turn. Because uh, there is a general's unit looking straight at the flank. Okay, on the centre bit. And disruption. Disruption on the centre line for the Egyptian spear. I mean, we've got a good... I feel we've got a good hit through here. We're going to push straight through this and either we can... I think the right flank's in more trouble than the left. So we might have to divert some of this uh, Gibberon infantry to that right side. But that's turn six. Quite successful here at the moment. And there's that charge. Just going to take it. Oh, and the flank attack. Oh, big disruption. That uh, early cavalry just taking the shots from the ca uh, the archers, which it's happy do it's happy to do. And more reinforcements to the right side. But they won't cause me an issue until later on in this battle. The Judean people here are putting up a good fight today. Come on, hold firm, hold firm. That chariot is a beast. Wow, I'm so impressed with these combats. Ha ha ha, we actually win against the uh, uh, hoplites on that left side. Mast archers are going to get destroyed in that center. Giving me a little bit of a gap there to get through. And fragmenting the Egyptian, uh, Egyptian spearmen. Indecisive. Okay, let's see what shenanigans we can pull. I think we're expecting to uh, do some uh, disruption on these mercenary hoplites. And we are going to go again into them. And into the chariot here. Oh, causing a fragmentation. Oh, wow. That poor Hebrew foot unit there taking the damage. Oh, that is not going to be good. All right, where, where, are, we, where are we winning? We're, we're winning here. So let's see if we can cause some chain disruption. And no, they refuse to break. Refusing to break again. I will charge onto these archer. Disrupting everybody. And now we're going to pummel them with archer fire. Actually, let me just stow that again. We're going to move these up first. And we'll turn these around to these archers. And moving these lights to the right to help support from the cavalry. I'm going to have to move back. Oh, we failed the disruption test. Uh, I need to get them out of the way. And we're going to move this infantry up to here. Charging the chariot, even though it's a bad percentage... 
Oh, it's worse, but it's going to shoot again. Until we can make some headway uh, on this centre. We're going to move this way. We're going to move this chariot around to this uh, centre point and hopefully cause some aggravation. These lights now are just going to turn and hit these uh, Egyptian light slingers. Oh, this chariot is like not even disrupted. But these troops are. Uh, okay, we're 16%, not bad. Indecisive. Sad to say, still indecisive. Oh, you dobs. How did these archers, how did these spearmen stick around? I expected them to break. Um, these guys are going to turn this way for when something breaks on this flank, and it's going to be that it's going to be that chariot and this infantry unit. Oh, oh, that was interesting. Uh, so the left flank is the flank that needs the help more than anything here. I can't charge these because these are the wrong kind of troops. All right, move here. We'll have a shot at the uh, Egyptian cavalry. Oh, that right left flank is, is looking terrible now. He came to fill the spot, so he can't do anything. All right, let's. Hopefully, we won't get disrupted, and hopefully, we won't disrupt the uh, light troops. And they're just going to stay there looking pretty. The two combats that I don't want to fight. Uh. Chariot holding firm. Holding firm again. <laughs> that, uh, that one chariot with the general on is holding that left flank up. Uh, when that when that crumbles, uh, I'm going to crumble on that left. And for the Egyptian turn, fingers crossed. Oh, that flank attack on that elite troop, but they didn't take a uh, cohesion test. They're sitting pretty. Feeling very confident at the moment in time. Uh, the Egyptians have not brought their A-game today. They left it in that tomb, I think. Like I said, the only, con the only thing that's concerning me now is the left flank with that chariot. Because as soon as that general falls... Oh, the broke, told you. It's going to cause some disruption. And it has the left flank. The left flank, I told you. No, it's not going to get ugly. It's going to get good for me. Oh, he says. He says after two free units just fled the field. <laughs> Come on, guys. You're meant, to be, you're meant to be helping me here. It is getting ugly on that right now. <laughs> uh, he says through gritted teeth. Holly Mollis. <laughs> that was a stark change. Well, at least I broke them spearmen on the centre. Oh, the chariots. The, 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 I told you it was the Hopperlites. The Hopperlites did it for me. All right, regardless of any loss, we shall battle on. All right, so let's see who we can charge to make... It was the Egyptian archers who charged in, and we're going to charge them back. Uh, turning to the right, uh, to the left here. Uh, we are going to charge here. Are we going to overrun? That's what we wanted. Ba ba ba! Shoot away! Let's bring this chariot to the centre. Fortunately, we can't actually shoot them, so what we are going to move threaten their flank as much as possible. But I'm going to shoot again. Having two units uh, disrupted here, 
it is not making my day. Uh, some irregular foot of a general in there. Uh, then fragmented troops. Uh, we may turn this chariot to and turn to the right, ready to block anything that can come through. Uh, and these gentlemen are just going to sit pretty and hopefully get a rally. Sad to say, they took a cohesion test, but they <laughs> they survived it. That chariot's so off. Okay. <laughs> There's no I can do about them. Uh, we are just going to fill that spot, even if they are disrupted. All right, uh, and shoot away. And bringing them to fragmentated. There's not one combat that I actually want to fight uh, this turn. <laughs> How did they get so broken? And that chariot is just sitting pretty. I expect them to break. <laughs> oh, it's it's got ugly. It's got ugly. Oh, all right, let's face this combat. We are going to flee. Probably cause disruption here. We on the on the light archers. Wow, that turned. That turned very quickly. And the light cavalry breaking due to the charge. Charge on the left centre. That seems okay. Oh. The Egyptians actually carted their A game uh, all the way back. And the spearmen charging in, getting disrupted at the same time. Them hoplites making short work of the Hebrew foot here. The right flank here is going to be a such a sledgehammer to my uh, right side. And the chariots on the left deciding to sit there and uh, pepper the elite troops down. Oh, the chariot is holding firm. Good. Unless I can get some flank charges on these hoplites, I think it's game over. Come on, I want to see the rally. Rally. Okay, let's see if we can actually sort this mess out sad to say them chariots are just out of range okay see if we can pepper this uh, uh, light arch unit to breaking and we do brilliant and causing some disruption there and then we're going to pepper these guys here uh, we need to about face Now we're going to shoot the chariot up here. Forty-nine. Oh, well, I'm going to go there. Let's see what happens. We will get charged in the flank. Unfortunate. Not my day. Okay, these hoplites now will get the rest of it. Oh, that chariot is so off this turn. Unless they get disruption. Nope. Oh, what would be the charge on them? Not great. And not great either. Sad to say, causing some disruption on this flank is not going to be good for me. And we will charge here. That general in that unit making it a tougher cookie to crack. And we're just going to have to turn and shoot. No, the centre seems to be fine. The centre's cleared up and we've just enveloped into two smaller battles. Uh, but unfortunately, the right side is their strongest. 
Uh, and the, the far left with them hoplites. This is where the chariot flees. Whoa! <laughs> well, we're going to have to move these here just to annoy them. And the lights shooting away. Oh, we're going to get some major breaks here as well. But... Oh, well, there goes the left flank. <laughs> All right, let's see if we could cause any disruption. Anything on this right side? <laughs> oh. Okay, let's click end turn before I do any more. Un <laughs> Very poor choice combats. Field of Glory 2, a fickle mistress. And she is not being kind to me tonight. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking that. 30% <laughs> and it's, 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 it's unless I get some massive chain cohesion test for them, I think we're going to pack our bags and go back to Judea. <laughs> Heavy losses, yeah. I don't want to see. I'm going to have to see this. The end stats. I felt so confident. I felt so confident in the start of this. Oh no! Oh. Alright. We've got power. We're gonna take them. We're gonna take some of them down with us. Yes. <laughs> we have to vote on it though. Oh yes. The computer has decided I am not worthy of a victory. Forty minutes. I am very unhappy with that. Slightly unhappy. Sad to say we got absolutely Mashed. Wow. The total losses and captured and deserted there. The young pharaoh has swished the Judean forces back. Sad to say I enjoyed that match. And a sneak peek at the uh, epic battle regardless of that. And I hope you guys will appreciate that. The Egyptian forces, they wanted they wanted to march past. Wow. <laughs> this is, how, much, how many figures is that? Oh. Absolute carnage. Ugh. All right, gentlemen, we're going to probably play a custom battle after that. We're going <laughs> to see if we can uh, have some uh, victory from that. I think I just clicked the wrong one. We'll probably go into a random match, actually. I'm going to have to watch some Life of Brian at some point now. Sad to say, victory is never certain. Is never certain. We're going to flip back to here and go back to Rise of Persia before before it chooses something else. Do -be -do. So, if anybody has a uh, faction in mind to play, please state it now. Please state your preference. Oh, we're going to play a medium battle, of course. Well, we haven't played. Crin... Crin... Where the hell are they from? This is the Googling time. The Googling time. We're going to have to do that. Crin... I can't even pronounce that. Hmm... What to play? Are you looking for a Cinemarian? That sounds good to me, uh, Pixel. You voted. And uh, we've got the... We'll play that next, BDCM. Uh, so we've got a Lydian uh, Empire or Assyrian. I will get shot to crap with Assyrian. So, so we want to choose. <laughs> Thanks, Grey Knight. 
Thanks for the faith. Thank you keeping the faith, brother. I feel loved right now. All right, so we need to pick a Syrian or El <laughs> or Lydian, guys. Somebody uh, pick a preference, please. Yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get uh, we'll get. Uh, okay, Lydian pixel, you've chosen it. Uh, so we're gonna a Syrian. So I think uh, Syrian are, are very much uh, a mounted empire. God, what an absolute, what an absolutely uh, smash that epic battle was. Like I said, guys, Field of Glory two, fickle mistress, fickle. She she gives you she gives you a taste of victory and she just takes it away. All right, so we're at Simarian. Uh, so uh, remember, we played this before. These are mainly cavalry force, uh, and I think the Lydian are mainly. Uh, I don't think they're particularly uh, uh, an, uh, mostly infantry. So oh, we've got cavalry galore. You gotta love the nomad archers. Um, so let's have a look at our forces. Uh, mostly cavalry um, to do. So we have uh, ooh. Sumerian Skifferin Noble, so Capt uh, Superior Bow Lightspear Swordsman. Hmm. I want to hear them positive waves. Don't be sending me them bad bad waves. Oh, that is a oh, oh that's a well, that's not a difficult thing. So here we are. Uh, we are a um, well, we're a very nomadic tribe. We are all horse. Well, literally, most of our troops are. Uh, mounted, which is going to be very interesting. We have a very open field. We've got uh, some rough ground in the centre here, which I will try to avoid. Uh, open ground with a few uh, terrace houses in the rear. Um, oh, we do have section forces in the rear. Oh, we do have some irregular foot that will... <sighs> I don't really know what they're going to do. They're going to be the centre force, I guess. They will march down the centre. I think I might even get them to sit on that hill uh, and and sit on that hill and guard it. Alright, we're going to go heavy left. Heavy left with all the cavalry. And just take this side of the field. And let's see what the Lydian forces bring to the field today. Yep, foot is on the hill. And the Lydians, they brought the Hoplites. They brought the Hoplites. And they've brought the irregular foot, of course. And they have nothing but superior cavalry. Irregular foot, followed by some Lydian hoplites, just offensive spearmen. Uh, hopefully, catch them onto the. Uh, hopefully, catch them to on the rough ground or on the hill, or we can hopefully shoot them up. We we hope, like I said, guys, we'll sh hopefully pepper them down a little bit before they get into any combat. I'm not worried about the irregular foot. So, um, is this a difficult slope? No, it isn't. So that's what all they're going to do. They're going to sit on that hill for this game, and we are going to advance forwards. It is going to be a. Most of our troops are armed with bows, uh, so we're going to just be shooting up each other every single game. We are going to be slightly aggressive. I'm going to move. We're going to move to this left side. Uh, we want to be out of that rough ground. The left, we go. Don't know if they've got any flanking force. I didn't read that. Is there a flanking force here? Nope. We're all on the board here. I'm going to go hard left with the cavalry. Hard left. And, and that is... I'm going to put the majority of the cavalry there. I think my irregular foot here will do well against theirs on this hill. But of course it's just the light troops that are going to start peppering me. Um, but that's it. That's turn. Uh, we need to hit them hoplites with as much firepower as possible before we try and get into combat with them. Uh, the regular foot I'm not too uh, scared about, but I remember the Lydian cavalry uh, is mostly superior and armoured, uh, which I'm slightly worried about. I mean, they've got a good one, two, three, four, five units of that. Um, I don't know if there's anything hidden in these woods, though, to the left, but we'll certainly see what happens. And their, their left comes. We have bows. We have all the bows in the world here as well. make sure we can pepper them down and, and pull a victory here. Okay, let's uh, commence the shooting at the... Uh, can we actually stay one foot back? Yeah. Yes, I would like to shoot all the hoplites, please. Uh, we don't want any of these hoplites getting uh, on full strength, and we are going to pepper these lights here. Uh, 
uh, disrupting them like Javelin Moon straight away. Uh, what's the range? Very low. And we will turn and shoot them. Oh, we are going to get cocky. Alright. We're going to go for that charge. And turn to fire up these light troops. I think if we move here, we can probably start peppering them as well. Let's see how many of their infantry squads here we can draw to this left. Oh, we can actually uh, start shooting them here. And flip this. We've only got probably two uh, offensive cavalry units there as well. And um, these guys are going to come this way. I'm going to ignore them lights. And just start shooting the hoplites up. And our irregular foot will sit there pretty looking at the floor. Don't be shy, everybody. Don't forget to say hello if you join the stream. Nice to see everybody chatting away. And the um, light troops fleeing away as they do best. So straight away, their line has been a bit disrupted. These hoplites aren't being affected by this rough ground, unfortunately. Um, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Runs. What? What's the? What's the Monty Python song? Brave, brave Sir Robin. I'm gonna have to find that song now. <laughs> brave. Run away! Run away! And the Lydian left flank, my right flank. They're starting to just uh, push round with the light troops and everybody else here. And let's see the damage I can cause. Uh, uh, oh, these uh, I don't want you getting a bit close to me. And we are just going to shoot everybody up. We are danger close here now. We're going to turn around here. I shot the wrong unit there, but unfortunately that's the way it is. And the uh, Hoplites slowly but surely getting killed. But it's going to take a lot more than uh, a few archers to take them down. I'm not bonsaiing. I promise you, I'm not bonsaiing. I can't bonsai. Alright, we're going to charge though with this cavalry. Oh, they stuck around. Oh, well, we need to break them quickly. And we are going to flank around here. Oh, the <laughs> oh dear, what did I do that for? We're going to come here and shoot them, of course. I'm going to push this cavalry right down the centre. Uh, bring this cavalry here. We're going to shoot their Lydian cavalry here. Oh, go on. We'll go for that charge. Let's be, let's be a bit cocky. Remember, guys, you do take damage when you flee. And I want high priority targets, not these little. <laughs> you can actually, yeah, they can shoot me back. So let's shoot them. Um, ba 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 ba. We will shoot the lights up. Mm -hmm. And advancing to the centre, we'll just have a go at some of the lights. And that's turn. We're Left flank, we've gone, we've gone out for it on the left. We've gone out for it. And evade, 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 please, evade, everybody evade. Don't get caught, evade. Thank you, evade. I'm hoping to, um, 
I'm hoping to push some of their units out so they can actually look towards a location so they break away from that main body of men coming down. The Lydians have brought their A game today. I've, I've brought my B game. And the Lydian cavalry to the left, uh, now trying to search me down. <laughs> I'm quite scared of that Lydian cavalry. And the uh, Lydian light peppering me on that left side. Not very nice. The hoplites. That's it, come on, break them. Break the light troops. Yes. Go on, break them, please. Because I don't want to be stuck there any longer. Sad to say. They actually... Uh, well, we're going to turn here. I need you to break them, please. Thank you. Go, go. Oh, the counter charges. Oh, God. Charge. Charge. <laughs> Uh, turn around and shoot, please. It's not the... Um, it's these aren't light, are they? It's not the... It's not the irregular foot I'm scared of. It's the uh, hoplites that are going to cause me a bad, bad day. Can we shoot the irregular foot? Brilliant. Oh, it's, it's interesting having a cavalry only army. And the light troops here are going to turn around and pepper away. Uh, I would like that kill. Ah, uh, huzzah! And we need to hit these uh, hoplites as quickly as possible. Uh, do these guys have movement points to turn around? What would the charge be? Actually, in my advantage, surprisingly. I mean, the general is in that unit, though, so that's probably why. Yeah, you can see the difference. What's that, 23? So, of course, we're going to turn these to the right and hopefully take some points off them. Uh, yes, I am, Pixel. Thank you very much, because they'll be doing the same what I'm doing to them right now, shooting them. Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in in the um, in this DLC, cavalry uh, archers are such a big thing. And bugger. I made a massive mistake just there, just turning him like that. <laughs> Why did I... I didn't move him. I should have turned him to face the right. <laughs> oh, no. Blunder. Blunder. Uh. Well, these guys will evade. I'm going to shoot them up anyway. All right, we're going to turn here and shoot the hoplites again. I ain't going to charge, but we're just going to shoot them. I, I could charge, but I'm not. I've, I've messed up on that left flank a little bit. More than anything else, it's the hoplites charging. And everybody fleeing, evading. Ev no, they're not fleeing, they're evading, guys. It's... Pure, purely tactical and the hoplites on the left turning just turning and the light eastern slingers just got caught and the eastern slingers are broken uh, the arch the cavalry now retreating auto play for still and the cavalry charging oh that's going to be a flank charge Oh, I felt that. Oh, we can re we can mess that back up. Free is enough, Pixel. Free is enough, just to let you know. I've right messed up that left flank with that one cavalry charge. Oh, at least that cavalry now can just engage the Lydian cavalry on the front. I sit off the board with you. They are going to be blocked by... What's the... Oh, nine. Nah. Go on, we need to engage them. Uh, 
Oh, uh, that one unit of cavalry is just going to absolutely sh mess, mess my day up. That's true. The hoplites seem to not be standing on the uh, thingy line. So, I mean, I'm going to have to shoot these up first. Uh, these guys are going to have to flee off the board. I'm going to get caught and then I'm going to die. All right. Oh, seven. It seems them being further down there, what was that, 25, 125, that step there changed the combat percentages quite heavily. Uh, so I think, unfortunately, me not charging when they were down here or here made that issue. Because this is 125, this is 25, this is 200, that's 75. So I had 100 difference of uh, height. That one space has changed that dramatically. Uh, not to my advantage. But. What can I do about it? Uh, I, there's no way in hell that I could charge them from that flank. The issue is I'm going to. If I kill them. I'm going to overrun. And then I'm going to be caught in the open. True, Van Bishop. Good point. Good point. That's that's this way the cookie crumbles, really. I made the decision. Making the wrong decision or the right decision is just one mouse click away. <laughs> oh, gee Louise. All right. <laughs> we need to shoot some hoplites. I am not winning these combats. Oh, I need to turn around to face these Lydian cavalry when they come hunting me. Yeah, one mouse click. It's a bad mouse click. Uh, these guys are going to run away. And they're going to cause so much disruption on my left flank that it's going to be unbelievable. I'm just going to have to stay there. With, I think we're just going to stay there with them. At least this has an undo function on this game. But not when you fire archer shots. Oh, we actually break them. Brilliant. All right, expect the break. Ah, oh! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, all right, now we can turn and shoot them. No, we've got nothing else there. I feel quite comfortable at the moment, but we'll see. One percent. Yes, I just noticed that pixel. And the charge caught them in the rear, breaking them again. That was very lucky there. I'm going to have to do some hit and run tactics for a few turns. That's my hill. How dare they want to charge me up this hill. Hopefully get that... Um, hopefully get the hoplites uh, on that hill disrupted. And the light's trying to chase my lights. Come on. Oh, indecisive. Indecisive. Yes! Huzzah! <laughs> Get off my hill, son. Get off my hill. And time for the Lydian Cavalry to taste the wrath of the archer. I need a disruption. I need a disruption, please. If I don't have a disruption, they are going to run me off the board. Booyah! Ha! <laughs> ah, I love this game. <laughs> 
Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, what should I do with these sons? Uh, we'll turn it. Well, we're going to turn around and hit the hopper light. No, we're not going to charge. We're just going to throw some. We're going to throw some arrows at you. Are these guys throw much at you. Uh, we would like to turn and new. No. What's the range? Can we shoot the? Uh, no, Lydians. No, we can't. Move here. We'll actually. Fortunately, that was a silly move. But never mind. Uh, pull these up here, so they're not going to run off the board. And disrupting the, uh, I think, who's actually, yeah, it's the regular foot what are blocking that charge. Okay, well, we're going to charge straight up here. Well, if you're going to charge over this hill, I'm going to shoot you. Turn away, shoot the lights. Okay, let's see the charge. Nope, the charge here. 15's not bad. I'm going to have to turn these here. 82, 70. We're going for that. Ugh, hold your breaths. And we will turn here and shoot the... Shoot the regulars. Uh, shoot the hoplites in the rear. Just turn here and fire. So the left side looking better due to the Lydian cavalry being disrupted through Archer Fire. Like I said, Archer Fire is the beast, is a beast on this game. But these hopper lights are very slow, so I, I, hopefully I could just outmaneuver them. I'd be very surprised if he charges on this left. I do not think I don't think they are pixel. I've not checked. I might ask Simone uh, the, uh, or somebody from Slytherin about it, but I'm not too sure. I noticed that today. I'll have a check for you and let you know. Uh, I'll, or if I can preview it next week, I will. Oh, that's our hill. I reckon there's too many units to actually get, go for that hill there. Uh, Lydian Cavalry from the rear now forming. We've got some outflanking Lydian Cavalry on the right side, uh, which will be an uh, issue in the next following turns. Oh, disrupting the uh, my light horse, archers. Come on, I want you to break them. Disrupting. All right, let's go to this left side. Okay, so first of all, we're going to shoot them. And we're going to shoot them. And we are going to shoot them some more. And a break. Get off my field. As we can see here, I do not want to charge. Oh, actually, that's not a bad charge. Sad to say, I would have liked to broke them. So we're going to turn here and archer fire you. We are going to sit there and shoot. We will just evade next time. So, left flank. Doing very well. I'm very impressed. Welcome to Archer Fire Central. So what should happen now is we should break these on the right. I'm hoping for a vic No, we're not going to break them, unfortunately. But a pushback. <sighs> oh, they're going to get decimated. Uh, and they are two turns away from even, even helping them. It's not a bad charge. Uh, if we, even if we turn round here, we're not going to be in range, so we just pull them up front. No, I don't think. I think we should turn round because that's going to be a, a bad charge there for me. Depends how the computer plays the turn. So left flank is brilliant at the moment. I'm dominating that cavalry by pulling it in and just absolutely hammering it with every single archer unit. And my Lydian cavalry on the left uh, has just dispersed as well. Uh, the regular fort are going to take a beating on that hill now. The Hopperlites rally on the hill. Uh, 
Got to love light cavalry. Oh. Disrupting the regular foot on the push on the hill. Good. And the hoplites now blocking the cavalry, which is good. They don't have that many more choices to charge. And there's that charge, which I expected. I expected disruption here. And they held firm. I mean, they are an average quality. But everything seems to be poised on this right flank against the free uh, hoplite unit. Uh, irregular foot, even. Oh, these guys are getting shot to death as well. Oh, I do not want to push back there. And the regular foot braking, hopefully causing disruption. Nope, and they hold firm. They're going to break next turn and a rally. So let's see the next course of action here. We need to, uh, I would like to break these. But at the same time, not completely outposition myself. Hmm. We could do a charge here to help them out. I think we're going to do that. And we shall form... <laughs> yeah, right, we're going to do that charge. I think we're going to start picking on this cavalry. And oh. I, I think I'm going to break them through combat. Is that going to be an over... Uh, I only wish that was an overcharge. It means we can actually free up to start shooting them. Mm. Brilliant. Most of this cavalry is looking the wrong way, so it won't be getting to action until the next turn. Can they shoot them there? No, they can't. So we're going to go to the right instead. We'll turn around to face that one infantry unit. Uh, we'll just turn and fire. Make sure we're one space away uh, so we can actually flee. This is going to be very indecisive there what happens. And we're just going to pummel these guys in the... And turn around here. Yep, yeah, we're going for that charge. We need to help them out in combat. Oh, that's going to be a massacre for me there. Oh, we're going to break. Oh, we're going to go for it. Hopefully cause some disruption. No! Everybody stand still. They're definitely off next turn. Uh, turn these lights back onto the cavalry. We can try and run away, but I think they're just going to hunt me down. Uh, like I said, left flank is doing a lot better than that right, but the right flank is just holding a massive proportion of their army in place at the moment in time. Let's see what the Lydians can bring to the table this turn. Oh, there goes the fr uh, second charge. Unfortunately, this left uh, unit of irregular foot is going to break and cause some major cohesion tests on that hill, uh, which probably will have a toppling effect on uh, that combat. He's probably he's, his only option is to fight that combat first. I got a bit excited charging my light troops, so they're going to break. They're going to be disrupted. I uh, know they're not. Oh, lady, look. Come on, break the infantry. Break them. Break them. You don't. That irregular foot are going to come and kill me. All right. And now everybody has turned to face me here. So we're going to... We are just going to shoot them up. Uh, two, four or two to eight. And I will just come up here and shoot you in the face. And we will just turn around and shoot them. No, that's not a good idea. Okay, what is it going to make me suicide? All my troops die horribly. And we're going to move up here and move up and shoot them straight in the face. I 
I think we are going to get flank charged here. Disruption the irregular foot. Brilliant. Oh, that's it. Go for the charge. No, we can do about that. All right, let's break them now. Fragmented. And fleeing. Yay. It's all about the little victories. Oh, and the light infantry take the hill. Um, ba -ba -ba. I think we can go here and probably shoot the hoplites. And we can. And these guys are going to run away. <laughs> uh, actually, no. We'll, we can't actually go into the built-up area. So, nice combats there. We're just uh, hopefully not going to get caught by this uh, Lydian cavalry. Uh, and like I said, this Lydian hoplites, there's no rough ground to catch them in. So I'm going to have to shoot them up. They have taken some casualties, but not enough, I believe, to make a serious impact on their combat effectiveness. Nice to see a lot of their units disappearing into the battlefield. Oh, no, is that an overcharge? And it is. And the, and the irregular foot lose. I can't particularly complain about that. And the hoplite's being pulled off into the left side, uh, meaning they're going to be easy pickings for my archers. Oh, and the hoplite's getting whooped. For Sparta. That's what they're shouting, even though they're not even anywhere near that. Oh, I didn't realise they could charge there. <laughs> that was so bad. I didn't realise they were in range. And that cavalry unit flanking my offensive cavalry unit, uh, which is going to be a massive issue. Uh, I need to destroy that foot troop quite quite quickly. They're not going anywhere. Right, first of all, break these. Oh, this is going to be a absolute nightmare. Breaking the lights. Very much that hill. I'm very... All right, we're going to hide. Hide in the woods. Hide in the woods. Uh, one unit will... Oh, we're just going to charge them off the board. Nope, we're not doing that. We're coming this way, and we're going to shoot. We're going to turn here, and we are going to not... We shouldn't have shot there, really, because of the uh, half arc. It's not worth it. Not even worth it. We want to land there, then, don't we, for the full arc. Considering ammo is low, um, well, let's flee this way. And zero for nothing. And we're just going to turn around and shoot you again. Why even? Why even consider that charge? Oh, they hold firm. That's good. I like the sound of that. Okay, where is the good combat? There is no good combat. Oh, we'll do this one first on the right. Oh, a pushback. These guys are going to be here until they die. Uh, be engaged on f uh, three sides at once. And turn over. And there's a charge and there's the evade. We need to be careful not to run off the board. The flank attack on the hill. Oh, they are, they are in the midst of battle there. Yeah, I didn't like... I don't know. I just, it's the impact, though. 
and I don't think it's going to drop any cohesion. It's only going to lose me troops. I mean, and if I take a hit there, that's going to plunge me, you know, into a loss. I mean, oh, I'm going to get a loss. Oh, they're off. They're so off. Need to clip that or something. Oh, <laughs> the general died. He got a bit. He got a bit carried away. I need to charge this cavalry to do something about it. Was that, a that was a rally for me. And here we go for the shooting. I was going to manoeuvre around them light troops. Yeah. Yeah, that is turning into. Uh, we're going to have to try and try. We're going to have to try some random charges here in the next turn to help these cavalrymen. Oh, we're going to have to try everything next turn if they're still around. But something tells me they ain't going to be around. Right, let's just push these to the left. I'm sick of getting shot up by their light infantry and cavalry now. Well, we're going to abandon that. <laughs> just hopefully... Oh, I, don't to, I don't even want to fight any of them combats. Uh, it doesn't matter which one I fight. They're both going to flee. They're both going to break each other. There you go. Told you. C called it there. But putting most of the Legion army to the right. Uh, this is going to take several turns to get into action. Looking for a break. And then a cohesion on the cavalry. Sad to say they don't break. Uh, and the hold firm. For my turn anyway. I take my hat off to them every regular foot on that right side. They fought bravely. And they actually overran into them as well, which is good. Yeah, you, you are correct, Bishop. I, I feel every little helps. It makes me feel better that I'm shooting them, causing some damage. But yeah, I mean... <laughs> I really should start picking at the rear of them when they're engaged. And they're off. Nope. Holding firm. What's that? Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Speedy, Speedy CM, you're right. Speedy, you are right. I accept I was wrong there. I should have charged with the cavalry. Why didn't I do that? Get out of town. Oh, they're so fragmented. It's ridiculous. All right, we're going to go and start picking on these light troops with everything. Yeah, he's got, he's got, he's got, he's got some ammo left. For the irregular foot, everybody onto the irregular foot, run away! Oh, well, we'll see how that goes next turn. We're just going to pummel them away. I was looking for that to cause some disruption or something. And they proudly stand tall on the hill which I once hold. I'm quite impressed with that light cavalry breaking that uh, cavalry unit. I just need my uh, more veteran cavalry now to rally. It is fragmented. No! <laughs> that was my fault. And did I put them in rough terrain? And I did. I think I put them in rough ground. And they got, got caught. 
Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, that's that's what I always worry about. I mean, just, I just don't want to throw stuff away just to get chomped up in combat against something which is a lot, a lot even... Oh, these guys can't do anything. That's very sad for them. Uh, it's, even, it's not even worth the charge. Just going to charge in. Oh, go on, let's hit the rear of them see what happens. Oh, no! I know where this is going now. Right, let's just shoot the hopper lights up again. I just need one disruption. Yes, that is true. Uh, they're, but they're not going to get charged. They're not going to get charged. It's fine. Okay, I'll we'll just bring them back here to shoot some more hopper lights up for nothing. Oh, <laughs> just uh, these guys have just, uh, I think, and they just have fell back. So these can get an evade next turn. True. If I had any infantry to charge, and they broke, oh, they're going to close the gap in this vital few uh, end of the turns. They're off when they hit. Yes, I expected that. <laughs> oh, no. I've certainly no rumble tonight. <laughs> oh, gee. Just one disruption. Just a disruption, please. Oh, Pixel, I know. It picks its time, doesn't it? It just... I, I play very well offline. I've been playing very well in that tournament as well. <laughs> but I mean, it's been ridiculous. Uh, I don't even want to fight these combats. I'm not going to fight them. I'm going to let the computer fight them for me. Vindictive. That's what the computer is. Oh, no! <laughs> It's them hoplite units. Them hoplite units have the most points in, so I could kill. All, I have to kill so much irregular foot, and well, if the hoplites and the cavalry, there's so much percentage in that points that actually killing them, I'm gonna have to kill double the amount of irregular foot to actually get into it. I, I don't think I could actually win in a melee right now. Oh, that's... that's ah! <laughs> we rallied! We rallied! <laughs> Turn to the battle! Are we still... No, we're still chasing him down. Mm-hmm. One disruption. I need a disruption. Just one. God, nothing. Nothing. Oh, 
Oh, I'm clutching at straws. Um, oh, we'll just turn around and uh, try and shoot you with zero to four. Feel the pain. And the hop will come straight up here and shoot the hop lights again. It's not causing that much damage to actually warrant a... Uh, Oh, I don't think it's it's just worth letting them rally or something. I need to rally with them. That Nomad Archers are putting a good fight against it. There is a general in their unit as well. Just got to hold out. How many turns we got left? <laughs> can, can I hold out? Oh, boom! That's what we needed. That's what we needed, disruption there. I'm never going to repeat that again. Oh, boom. Nope. And... Go on, for giggles. I need to pull a unit of these uh, Nomad Archers down. Uh, one, two, they should be able to charge next turn. Oh, that was for nothing. Uh, these guys are going to run up here. We are slowly running away from their entire army on the right flank. And they're just going to sit there, and these guys are going to come to the right. And is it worth? No, oh, it's not even worth that. I don't think it's even worth moving them here to shoot, and it isn't. But we'll think about that next turn. And turn over. They seem to be sitting on the hill. Actually, they're going. They're t they've all turned around to go for the one irregular foot unit that's right on the far right flank, uh, which probably will. I think I'm going to have to start moving it down off the map uh, because it's probably vital points here. True. <laughs> Very true picks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rally. Rally. Yes. Six turns. Okay. Quick, guys. Turn around. And slowly run away. We can win this. I've got the power of Grayskull. And firing away. Come on. Disrupt you. Disrupt. Disrupt. <laughs> Please. Please. Dis <laughs> you don't know how much, dis how much I want them to be disrupted. Oh, I turned them around to shoot. I should have charged. Come on. I'm going to lose here, and they're going to flee. Nope, they're still indecisive. Oh, we're going to bring everybody up for that one no, uh, Hopolite unit. Everybody, everybody up to shoot the Hopolite unit. That, that's the game. That's the game. We need to shoot that one Hopolite unit up, and then we won the game. Run away, everybody. Live for another day. Who's, who's charged? Who, well, these are absolutely crap end of nowhere now. You know what? We're going to funnel some of their units up to the top. Can we shoot you for four damage? Ah... What waffer they've got bloody waffer fin arrows. Oh charging that light cavalry unit into that uh cav their cavalry has made hope me silly, I think I'm gonna lose the game because of that. I've got six turns to avoid every single unit of this. I will break the game to win. I will and every bit on the right side, every bit of their army is going down to the, uh, uh, the one irregular foot unit that's rallied. Oh, indecisive. Oh, no. I can't. I can't. It's They're not. They're, look, if I charge, I'm going to get whooped. I need to get them disrupted, Speedy. I need to be disrupted. need to be disrupted. Oh, come on. Disrupt. Disrupt. 
Come on! I believe in you! We'll bring this cavalry unit... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, and we'll turn to look that side. If it takes me these next five turns to disrupt you... Alright, uh, let's just now flee. Run away! <laughs> oh, quick guys, get there. Let's cause some issues for them. Oh yes, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. What? No, no, no. No, no, what? We're, we're going to win. We're going to win. We're going to win, I promise you. We're going to shoot them up this turn. We'll charge next turn. We'll charge next turn, I promise you. We'll, we'll, we'll keep that hoplite unit with, with enti our entire army that has to be dedicated to killing it. They're not throwing arrows. They've, they've been making some bad arrows this week. Oh, the army is coming for them. This is going to be so close. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous what I'm having to resort to. I'm having to scrape the barrel for a victory here. Scraping that barrel. Oh, don't you be shooting me with your spiky things. Now I need to run away. Oh, go on. Ah! <laughs> Have it. Lydian Cavalry. Alright, you ready for it, guys? The problem is, I feel like I'm just going to back away. I'm going to... They're not going to... They're going to... They're, they're, no, they're not. They're, I told you guys, they're going to... I'm going to have to shoot them to death. They're going to literally... They're going to... We'll try again. The problem is, they won't stay in combat. They'll lose. Nope. Oh... Okay, guys, the stream chat is correct. The str I, I, I bow my head, Pixel, uh, Speedy C. I, I bow my head. We've done it. We've, we've, we've broke the hoplites after several turns of unleashing everything. Now, run away. Run away from the archers. We did it. We did it. We're on a home run. Run away. <laughs> Scraping the barrel. Run away. Two, four turns left. Can we do enough combat avoidance for these next four turns? I felt victorious then. It's, we, we've won this battle by default. We've, we've won it. We've, they, we've, they, we've not won a clear victory here. <laughs> I just, yeah, maybe I should have charged them turns ago. But it was just the when my cavalry was just so going to lose that it was just going to force morale checks on me and. and make me fall back okay run away into the woods uh, run away well actually no, to be honest we don't have to do very much with this cavalry and stuff just, just flee away a little bit <laughs> okay and then we're gonna have time for oh run away they're so close to getting caught oh and these guys are gonna run this side and we're gonna run away hopefully kite some of these units away and um, Run away. No, he's not letting me draw. It's three turns. I'd be so annoyed if the cavalry or the hoplites rallied. Oh, the... Please, all I need is for that one hoplite unit on the right side to rally. And then I get an extra space of movement to run away. No, he's not letting me draw. He's letting me win. But I broke the game. I broke the game slightly by doing this. I mean, we could try and consolidate our victory by shooting that one unit of javelinmen that are coming to get us. I think we're going to turn around and... Uh, I think we're going to come and hurt them, I think. Yeah, that's true. I, yeah, um, we'll, we'll, we'll say that. We'll say that just to humour me. <laughs> Mr. Javelin Man. Oh, zero. These guys are just going to hide in the woods. Uh, these guys are now going to run away. Like little girls. Oh! They're so close to charging them. 
True. I, I believe so. Two turns. Let's just play it out. We may have time for a small engagement after this, just to round it off to eight o'clock. No, no, it wouldn't be funny. I would, I, I would rage quit. You would see the stream just go offline. Never to play Field of Glory 2 ever again. Oh, F4, all my games on my Steam profile. I'd be severely knocked. Shouldn't tempt fate like that. Oh, no! The dead! The dead next turn, unless I can... I mean, I, we've won anyway, but... I would like to uh, have a secure... A little bit more of victory. Yeah, last turn. It's just they've got that last bit of movement. Well, if you're going to look that way, I'm going to shoot you in the side. Uh, oh, everybody else might sit down. They're going to charge them. Close your eyes. No! <laughs> ah. No, I don't rage kit pixel. I'm a strong believer, even on my YouTube channel as well, you will see the game, victory or defeat. There's no point quitting about it. It's, I think it's a learning curve. A loss is still a learning curve in my opinion. I'd, I'd never rage quit, even though I'd, I'd be tempted to. Um, Gutted, they caught the regular foot at the end. Wow, this was a battle of shenanigans. Absolutely. And we're just gonna. They can't charge us, can they? I'm sure they can't. Well, we'll give them an option to charge two units. I'll be. S yes! 5% victory, but a 5% victory regardless. <laughs> what, what, it's a very costly victory, in my opinion. I don't think it, it was worth wasting the men to uh, gain victory. <laughs> no! <laughs> it said I failed. Uh, I, I class it as a victory. Regardless of that, gentlemen. That was a victory in my case. We did very well. I enjoyed that. That was so, so close. I mean... It was a defeat. It was actually classed as a defeat. Oh, it was a victory. A victory, guys. That was a victory. We will say it's a victory. So, guys, we've got about 20 minutes left, and I probably can do um, one small engagement of some description. Uh, we'll have to play a quick one, though. But that was GG, guys. GG. Oh, go on, Bennett. All right. Need some votes for this quick last minute, 20 minute game, guys. Uh, and then we'll. Uh, Go on to some. Oh, I'll be. I know I robbed. But not Rob. I've not had. Yeah, I suppose I was robbed a little bit there. Yeah, I think more of a draw. So we're thinking of Elamites. Okay, Speedy will play some Elamites. We, like I said, we're only playing a very small game though. Uh, so this will be a quick one. And the uh, we have either Assyrian or Persian. Oh, but Assyrian, there's going to be lots of cavalry, of course. And with the Persians, there's going to be um, lots of troops. Yes, he cheated. No mind. I'm not cheated in good conversation. Let's just say that on the stream chat tonight. All right, Persian, it goes. And for the final 20 minutes of the stream, guys, like I said, don't forget to check the uh, Sliver Insight out and the DLC. Uh, you know it's going to be good. You've seen my uh, last few videos and streams. It's just it's worth checking it out. Okay, uh, it's a com oh, it's a it's a it's a to do. We've got two units uh, flanking on the right. Uh, we've got do do do, and that's it. Just a comp stomp, really. What were the units on the right? Uh, did it say horse archers and archers? Okay, looking from our forces to left to right, we've got some media Assyrian medium foot, followed by a lot of mass archers. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna put that unit there we have a marsh uh, which the uh, tr archers aren't affected by but the uh, medium foot I don't think are affected by either uh, okay 
It's going to be an archer fight. So we have three Ele Elamite charioters. Uh, I love these things. It's like wacky racers. It is really like wacky racers. You know what? We're going to have to change this around. Oh, I, you know what? I don't actually know where I'm going to put these. Oh, we'll put one on the left because I could probably sneak through here. Um, I will have two on the uh, two on the right, which will I think what we'll do. Make sure we'll, we'll put a general in there. To flip them around. Flip them. Oh, you know what? I don't actually know. We're going to have to. Come, we're, I think they're going to have to come down this little gully. Are they disrupted down this gully? No. Yeah, there's rough all. There's some rough all over the place. Uh, this is so we are bringing the archers today. All right. They're not disrupted. Uh, it's just this. It's a difficult slope, though, guys. Difficult slope. So we've got to be careful of that. I always felt I feel a cropper to that. Every every game I think I played until I actually properly started looking at the terrain properly. Even here they're disordered, uh, and even there they're disordered. So we are actually going to move up here, but we'll, I think we'll be at a negative in combat if we actually get in combat there. Um, so I think they'll hit there, and then we'll take this hill, and then we'll see what shenanigans. Yes, avoid rough terrain, guys. Okay. Oh, I can see what they've got. Oh, I can see it. All right, looking at the um, Persian cavalry. Oh, the Iranian armored cavalry. I'll come in my way again. Uh, followed by more Iranian cavalry. Do they have any mortals? Um, nope. Just general foot with Iranian cavalry to the right. And some raw hoplites. I'm, I'm not really scared about raw hoplites. So I think we should be fine moving all the way to that end of that hill and sitting on that hill and then shooting everybody up. Uh, remember the chariot can't go in the woods. Those shields are f like wicker, aren't they? Them shields are quite cool. I've got to say, Slytherin games uh, do do something good with these models. I do like them. Being a miniature war game myself, painting that many rank and fire would be horrendous. Right then. Advance! Oh no! We are absolutely disordered in there. Ha! We're going to have to get out of that. First blunder of the game right there. Actually, you know what? We're not advancing too far. We're going to have to absolutely get out of there. Oh dear, this terrain is going to be so much fun. So... We need a turn or two to get out of this. We need a turn or two to push out of all this bad terrain to get in a good position. And nice to see the... Um, is that a difficult slope? Open ground. No, we're fine at the moment. Is that a disruption in that wood? And it is. So we're not going to go in there for now. Yep, I did. Swamp sucks. Let's get out that swamp. I got sticky boots. That Iranian cavalry is going to absolutely shoot me to hell, uh, and then it's going to then it's going to charge me in, and then it's just going to mash me. The problem is sending my light troops forward is going to be interesting. I've got them out of the marsh. Yes, the right seems. Uh, and a lot easy flank to take hold of. I don't think they're going to move. I don't think they're going to move. You're right. I think we need to... Uh, we need to push to the right. Simple as. Uh, I don't think sitting on that left side is going to be uh, helpful whatsoever. We're just going to move forward slightly yeah I think oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna push down here and then see what they do oh we've got a chariot here where'd that one go oh missed that one didn't I oh and turn we'll push on the right uh, and then see if the nope this one chariot that seems to be now all the way down We have the archer shots for the first five turns. We ain't. I'm not going to fire there because I've moved. Oh, that's not bad actually. Two for twenty-four. Uh, 
I think this arch unit will filter back and sit on this high ground. Thank you very much. That is a good tip. The right it shall be. Gonna keep this chariot here for giggles. And do I shoot? I don't want to shoot that. I don't think it's a high. It's just such a long range. I wait till they. I wait till they, they rush forwards. And they're like troops now meeting me in the centre. The Persians have no trouble advancing straight forwards. They're classed as bowmen. They are actually. I thought they were classed as an infantry. I mean, I know they're classed as infantry, but I didn't realise they were classed as or oh, the fire. All right, let's unleash hell while well, they've come a little bit closer. So I'm going to shoot. I'll push these to these light troops here on that right side. Let's turn. Let's make them advance. There is that track there, which is going to make this is a very little difference anyway. Uh, these gentlemen need to keep moving because uh, they're going to go on. Uh, they're going to go and push on that hill at the end of this. It is very nice. That, that I, I love that. I'll, I'll, we'll... That is very nice. There's this, this something <laughs> very satisfying. So we've got 1624. Unleash hell, and uh, we can actually shoot from behind our troops here, which is good. And causing a disruption. I mean, I think I could. I would actually want to shoot them here. And the chariot that's in the rear with the gear will be pushed on front. Oh, that's that's cocky. Go on. <laughs> They're going to evade. They're going to evade, but... Remember, we do get reinforcement for this right side, so... Tempted to, I'm going to put my general in that chariot. Oh, you know what? We will fire there. You know what? Let's have some giggles. And we did disrupt them. We'll turn these to the centre. Uh, not worth the shot, and that's it. Good, good point. Yeah, I agree. The light troops, though. The light troops. I'd say I'd agree. With, I'd, I'd I agree with you, but completely. But the the light troops, and that's it's not their main body of infantry. That's going to be the issue. I need to get in combat with them because I'm fighting against bowmen. I mean, they're on that hill at the moment, though. Uh, stop shooting me, please, because it just vexes me so much. Oh, the chariot getting disrupted on the left flank. Oh, and the infantry. Chariot here, first of all, going to push it all the way forward. Um, I'm going to push it there because I think we can sneak through this little gap at some point. Uh, yes, these guys here are going to hurt me. Oh, ho, ho, what's the boss? Uh, shit, what's giggles? That's some giggles. No, we can't actually. Uh... Okay, okay, bye. Have a great time. All right, let's see what we can shoot. All right, we're going to pick off the heavy heavy horse. Maybe should have charged there. Maybe should have moved forwards. Auto braking, brilliante. We're moving that chariot there. I've also blocked myself. And an auto braking, braking two of the light units straight away, which I'm quite happy with. Got some good rate. Look at the range of that archer. It's ridiculous. 
Oh, we need to concentrate on units rather than bit and bodying against their infantry. Oh, we're going to move straight forwards and start peppering that uh, Iranian armoured cavalry. Oh, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this guy. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go crazy down the centre. Can we uh, manoeuvre ourselves here? Not in particularly. We we'll turn to the left there. Oh, we get actually a full range shot. No, Speedy, I completely agree there. Uh, I need to uh, hopefully dis get some disorder before they actually get close to me. Oh, they didn't flee! Oh, they got cut down! I like massed archers, I really do, at shooting. But sometimes... Um, you can put them in positions where they're actually quite good, even against um, a, a, another bowman unit or a medium foot. Oh, the cavalry. We've got reinforcements turned free. They're coming on that side. You wait till that arch unit comes and the light unit comes. Okay. We'll have that charge. Oh, no, we won't. No, we won't. Cack. Oh, he's stuck now. He's stuck. Should have shot him up before I charged in. Let's make him think twice for what he does. Alright, where can I get out of his charge range? I don't... Uh, I think I'll flee. Alright, yet again we're going to hit the Iranian. No, I don't think I can. I don't think I can. I put my finger up completely out of position myself. I think it's just because this guy's in his zone of control. Oh, 1%. Not looking forward to that. What's this here? Well, we're just going to turn and fire then, I guess. Or turn and fire to the left. Uh, turn to the Iranian foot. Holding firm. It flared a little bit though. Oh, they're going to start eating me, archers. <laughs> oh, Mr. AI is being very good tonight. I have that arm plus playing horrendously bad. And the Iranian archers decide to charge the early cavalry. And the rest of the Iranian archers coming from the rear. I'm sure I had reinforcements by now. Well, at least we had a... I know, where are the reinforcements? I'm sure... Here we go! <laughs> Huzzah! As you speak, Speedy, they turn up. Oh, feel the bane coming your way. What's the chat? Oh, go on. Alright, we. Oh, these guys are absolutely spackered. Oh, 
I mean, what's that? 7, 20%? Not even worth it. Unfortunately, if I don't charge, I'm going to break. Oh, it's like, how are they surviving this? Hmm, well, might as well shoot away. What would the light... Nope, can't charge them, because different type of unit. Expected a fallback there. Sorry, guys, I can't help you here at all. And um, these, this chariot, I expect, uh, is to break. I know it holds firm, luckily. Hmm, it's going to be interesting. Oh, the archers! Oh. These Persians are mighty, mighty aggressive tonight. Relentless, you're telling me. <laughs> oh, the chariot's off. No. But no disruption. They've got bigger shields than me. This is why they're winning. Right, these uh, troops are in a mighty issue. Can we disrupt these for the charge? No, we can't. Well, we disrupt them. Uh, we're going to fire everything we can. I mean, we could try a charge here, but it's particularly not worth it. I mean... Sad to say, they are going to get flank charged and it is not going to be pretty. These guys are going to have to stay still and just take everything that's going to come to them. Yeah, it's the shields. We, we just can't afford them nice little shields. Oh, this Iranian cavalry is, like, so tough. Oh, brilliant. She disrupted them. Oh, if only I did it the other way around. And disrupting the raw hoplite. Brilliant. Alright. Let the combat be whatever it may. Oh, and there goes my second combat unit. The flank attack on the left, which, to be honest with you, is not... Regardless of what I did, they would have broke. Oh, this is just a mean, mean game. Yes. Is that true? I didn't realise that. Well, that is just a, a bit of ridiculous. These guys have took some combat. Uh, I mean, they should start losing. They are very... Come on, I need a, at least a victory in that centre to cause some disruption or something. Yeah, that's quite interesting. Thank you, Speedy, for that. That is definitely a fun fact. Oh, my word. I, I didn't even look at the loss uh, thing here. All right, we're going to shoot and charge. Charge against the Hoplites. Murder them. Destroy. And we'll turn to the left. And these gentlemen cannot seem to shoot anybody. Oh, yes, they can. And we'll shoot the uh, foot in the rear. And their general has fallen. 
causing disruption just on their unit. Let's move these to this side and we hope we can uh, shoot them some more. Whoa, wait a second. 2 to 10 is good. Charge! Is that going to be a charge, please? Thank you, that's what we wanted. And bagger all. And we're going to move here and shoot. And shooting to the left again. Fragmented troops are just going to sit there and take everything on the chin. And this could be one of the final turns, I think. Breaking the fragmented troops, bringing their victory to 23%. Ooh. It's desperate times when you've got to send mass archers into combat. Oh. That's going to call it on the centre. I do not believe this game is going to last very much longer. I think we're actually going to just go slightly over... Uh, time tonight, but Persians have just decimated tonight. Is that going to cause any cohesion on the... and it does cause cohesion on the raw hoplite troops. I didn't see that rally wherever it was. Yes, we, we, can, we can claim some victory from that, so hopefully a break here. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, cause some disruption. Oh, fantastic. Reinforcements helping out quite a lot there. Oh, these guys are a bit dead. But that is the fact of it. And that, I believe, sad to say, these guys, uh, these medium, Assyrian medium fought are in some problems here being disrupted. Unless I get a rally... But no, that could be the centre crumbling just as it goes. Oh, and say they get a rally on the foot on the left. The reinforcements did help on the right. It helped quite a lot, but the centre line has just crumbled straight the way down. I think so as well. I think with, uh, coming, bringing him onto the open field was uh, an advantage for our chariots. Uh, but at the same time, it was an advantage for them. I think we should maybe kept to the hills um, and maybe we would have just had a little bit of advantage of fighting up uphill and especially being a difficult slope. But that's the benefit of war that this is going to be the break in that centre with that one medium unit entry, 40%. Oh, scary Mary. Can we turn and give some help? And we're just going to shoot away. Oh, 1%. Oh, nothing. And turn around. Them gentlemen. Oh, do I even want to fight this combat? Uh, I think they're going to get bludgeoned to death. And there goes to be fragmented straight away, probably. I can see that coming a mile away. And the cavalry reigning terror. Oh, mass disruption, mass panic. Oh, I'm going to have to kind of play an easier game later. 
I keep forgetting how quick that cavalry is to actually even to maneuver around the field. There's the chariot. I think the computer will just call it soon. That's a oh, one rally. <laughs> And all we can do is just fire away. Let's charge that cavalry. It had slight advantage there. Well, let's see if we can just uh, slightly kite that unit away to the right. And these guys are going to run away and hide in the little city. And they successfully pulled that one unit away. GG, Mr. Persian, GG. Can move out the way and can I charge into the side just please? Stabity stabs, stabity stab please, thank you very much. Sad to say, there is too many units around here to actually manoeuvre or anything in the centre bit. I think we charge down the hill, please. I didn't see... I didn't see that, whatever, whatever, I didn't see what I won. Huzzah! Victory! Ah, these guys are just going to sit sit merrily there. Uh, we're going to turn around and probably shoot the Iranian arch, uh, Iranian cavalry to the back. And of course they're going to stay there. Huzzah! Uh, so, a little bit of change of pace there. We actually fought back some of the points, uh, which is always good here. Oh, the raw hopper-likes rally. Counter-charging the guys in the rear. Flank charge, of course, that was going to happen. That there's nothing I can do about that. But certainly narrowing the lead uh, that the Persians have gained slightly until they broke that chariot. I might send that one light unit up to there to break them hopper light unit again. Oh, like a break there. I did! Ha! <laughs> Get out of town. Get out of town. Rally! Alright, we're going to run up here and shoot these... Uh, Actually, what's the percent? There we go. Go on. Oh. In we go. In we go. Everybody in. We've got to do it. Mass combat of archers.
Oh, they're so dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wish I could charge these guys in the side, but sad to say we can't. For a brief second, I saw a glimpse of victory, but dashed. At least we closed the gap anyway. And sad to say, that is GG. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was the final battle of tonight. GG, folks. Thank you for watching. Uh, it's been a fantastic uh, few games, an epic battle. And I hope everybody has enjoyed the stream and the preview of Rise of Persia. Don't forget to check the Sliverin store out uh, for the release. The release is on the 27th of September, uh, which is very, very soon. And, yeah, it is going to be cool. I'm I hope everybody enjoyed it. Uh, like you said guys, I am a small YouTuber myself, so don't forget to come and check my little channel out um, and send some send some send some some send some love to me. Um, but yeah, hopefully I will be streaming one stream every up to um, up to the release date. And then yeah, so GG guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, have a check at my good old YouTube channel out and I shall see you hopefully next week on another um, Slivering stream. Oh, hardcore tonight guys. That was brilliant. See you later, folks. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.